does drinking your own sweat sound to you? Not tasty? Well, don't judge yet because it could serve a very important purpose. An engineering team in Sweden has built a device for making drinking water out of your sweaty gym clothes. Named the Sweat Machine, the device is intended to highlight the water shortages facing many parts of the world. The Sweat Machine works by extracting the sweat, which is 99% water, out of people's used clothing. Those clothes are put in a dryer where every last drop of liquid is squeezed out of the clothes. The sweat is then heated, exposed to ultraviolet light, then passed through a bunch of filters to remove the salt and bacteria. Then, after all that, the resulting water is passed through a regular coffee filter to remove any fibers left over from the fabric. And the result is completely drinkable water. Now it's a lot of processing for not much yield, so it's unlikely that this machine will single-handedly solve water shortages around the world. However, they're not the only ones addressing the problem by converting readily available material into drinkable water. In Lima, Peru, where 1.2 million people lack running water, engineers partnered with an ad agency to create a smart billboard that captures the humidity in the air in order to generate clean drinking water. It does this by running it through an air filter, then through a condenser, then through a carbon filter. And all that passersby have to do is use a faucet at the base to access the water. According to the agency that created the billboard, the one billboard alone produces 100 liters of drinkable water per day. NASA has also spent decades working on a system to convert urine to drinking water for astronauts who spend long periods of time isolated in space. And some cities and counties like Singapore and Orange County, California, have implemented processes for recycling some wastewater back into drinking water to conserve resources. But in the U.S., one hurdle to this process going mainstream has been the psychological gross factor in drinking wastewater. But especially in areas prone to drought or water scarcity, the benefits may someday become undeniable. Would you drink sweat water? Let us know your reactions in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that button because we're going to hit 100,000 subscribers soon and do something super weird to celebrate. So stay tuned.